Hello, I'm our Facts of Mars, and this is an open vlog to our uh, medical people who believe in evolution. Now, when I ask the question I'm going to ask, make sure that you keep it in the context of our supposedly having evolved in a salty sea, a salty ocean. Uh, actually, I haven't found any real agreement from scientists on that point either. But, anyway, that's what we're being led to believe. Now, this is Blood Pressure UK. It's an anti-salt site. And they list a bunch of reasons why salt, how salt could raise our blood pressure and what wears on the kidneys, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Fine. So, I want you to explain a couple things to me. Number one, keeping this in the context of evolution in a salty ocean, explain to me how it is this could be that even a small amount of salt could raise our blood pressure. How is that? I mean, our, our uh, blood plasma is mostly salt water. That's a known fact. So, how is it that a small amount of salt is going to change anything? And this site lists a big, long uh, technical explanation. I'm not arguing about this, really, other than about the blood plasma. It's mostly salt water, so how is it? Do tell. How is it that a uh, small amount of salt can do this anyway? But I want you to keep your answers in t context of evolution. They told... They tell us that we evolved, our ancestors, very distant ancestors, evolved in salt water. And then they turn around and tell us that salt's bad for us. But it gets worse. Some of our uh, mammalian relatives, and if you don't believe me, you can visit a uh, ranch and talk to the uh, rancher. Ranchers set out uh, salt licks for their animals. And if you've been around the farm, you've seen this. Because the animals need salt in their diet. And we're being told we don't. We can get all we need from the food we eat. So you care to explain that discrepancy in the context of evolution as well? Remember to keep your answer in the context of evolution. I'm going to say that one more time. Explain to me how it is salt's bad for us when we supposedly, our ancestors supposedly evolved from creatures in a salt ocean. And explain to me why it is different for livestock. And I think. And people even put out salt licks for deer. Explain to me why it's different for livestock when their ancestors supposedly evolved in the same salty ocean. And why is it this doesn't even apparently apply to birds when their ancestors supposedly evolved in the salty ocean? So make your arguments cogent and specific as to why this is. Telling me that salt in my diet is bad for me, but it's good for livestock and deer with the salt licks. They have to have it. And other critters just doesn't seem to matter. Oh, and while you're at it, you can explain to me how it is that predators uh, feed on wild meat and probably take in quite a quantity of blood, which is salty, and the salt doesn't bother them. Remember that their ancestors supposedly evolved in a salt ocean along with ours.
This is what we're being expected to believe. So make your, make your arguments. Explain this to me. Why is it bad for us, but good for them? Explain that, please. Thank you. I'm Artifacts of Mars.